regular expression why we need it and how to do it. This tutorial applies to PHP Runner, ASP Runner.net and ASP Runner Pro. Here I have a simple application with an user info input form. So basically the add page. Right now the application basically accept any value and we will use a regular expression to control what is allowed in these fields. I left a link in the description to this website. You can input your regular expression over here and it will match everything in the text below. This is a fantastic way to see how your regular expression works. I am now on the add page of the user info table. So I double click and make sure that you are on the edit as tab and for the HTML input type for full name we can leave that as text and validate as we can select regular expression. Please note there are other options over here. We will get to those just now. So for the full name field, I am going to add a regular expression over here. Now I have already figured out what I need to put in here beforehand. So I'm just going to copy paste it in here. It is going to force you to put two words separated with one space. And this message over here is important because this is what the user will see when they don't have it right. So you can also test your expression over here. You will have to paste the expression again and then let's just add some text. You will see that there is absolutely no match. But if I add a space anywhere, we have a match. So this is working. Click OK to accept. For the zip code, we are now going to just select US zip code. So you don't have to do much if you have the option available. For postal code, I will have to add another expression. This is actually for the Canadian postal code. And then for the message, I am just going to say this. Okay, and then for the email, again, email will be just, uh, I will make this an email field and we will validate it as an email. This is straightforward. And for the phone, I want a 10 digit number with spaces, hyphens or decimals between the sets. So the regular expression for that. Now you can go to the website and set your own expression, how you, how you want it, how you need it to be. And I will just paste the message. I think you get the idea. Let's see how this goes. Okay, let's add another record. So I'm going to deliberately not leave a space here. And let's go to the next field and the message we supply is what will show up over here. So just let's add a space over here. And now everything is, is good. I think five will work over there. If I add a sixth one, it's going to complain about it. Uh, postal code is that complicated one. Let me just see what is the message. Oh yes, I'm just going to copy this and put it in here. Remember, it's an optional space, so that will work as well. Email is straightforward. Yes, I know it doesn't test if the email really exists, but at least in that format. And then a the phone number needs to be 10 characters. So if I just do a few, it is going to ask you to please put in 10. So 
something like that and that will that will save okay now I am going to move on to a little bit more advanced approach so I have a question how to change the, the regular expression of the zip code uh, depending on a zip code type so what I mean is this now we have a zip type so if I select USA I want a regular expression for USA to be active here and if you select CAD I need a different regular expression on the zip code field okay back at the project the user info table I'm going to go to the add page JavaScript on load event and we are gonna create so I just create a variable control zip type so we want to know whenever there's a change on the zip type field we are going to call a function so we then say the control that we just created dot on now it's a drop down select it's a drop down box so we are going to use change So when it change, please call a function. And the function I will just call func. And then let's create the function we need to call. Let's get the zip type field. I know USA will be one of the selections. So I'm going to say if control ZT, you can call this whatever you like dot get value compares to USA we are going to do something and we are going to also do something when it's not the case I'm going to set the zip type message okay and then also a message when the Canadian selection was made in both cases we are going to create a variable that will store the pattern just after the if statement we are going to get the zip code field that was the zip type field now we're going to get the zip code field because we want to set the regular expression now controls add validation and I am selecting whatever my patterns are going to be also I need to set the message that the user is going to see so the message is going to this MSG which I created up here it's going to be either that one or this one and then I add a comma and add the message type in both of these cases it will be message type text what we have so far now for the expression itself for the US zip code we are going to use that expression and whatever I want to happen when CAD is selected I'm just gonna add a simple expression one of those characters will be fine now here is the important part if you use it like this is not going to work because this will be recognized as a string and it needs to be encapsulate I think that's the right word uh, take out these double quotes single quotes also not gonna work you have to add a forward slash and the same for this one If you take anything away from this tutorial this will be it regular expressions needs to be done in this way one thing we need to do now is to remove the expression from the zip code field I think this will override it but in case it doesn't let's go to the design uh, designer there is a regular expression over here and we are just going to remove it like this 
let's see how this goes okay let's add another record i'm just gonna put some random characters here so that we don't struggle here is for usa we can't put any letters can we no it tells you the us message so for usa it's one two three four five will work fine now let's select the other one now one two three four five is going to be a problem because we selected cad and it gives you the message now i need to select one of those characters and it works like a dream now please i know this is not correct i'm trying to show how you can apply a different regular expression to the zip code field depending on the selected value over here now if you've made it this far there's one more thing i would like to share i'm going to close php runner completely open up any text editor i'm using notepad plus plus we are going to create a new function over here and the function is going to be function canadian postal code and this function is going to do the following okay it is the regular expression so you can name this function anything you like um, put your regular expression over here and the rest you just copy from here and save this file we're gonna save this file file i already saved it but you save it as canadian postal code dot js exactly the same what you called the function okay here i have the file i just saved and open up wherever your php runner version is installed source include validate you're gonna move this file there i'm just gonna cut the file from there and paste it in here now you can close everything and let's open up php runner again if you did not close php runner you will have to restart it okay here i am on the add page of the page designer again for the user info table i'm gonna go to postal code i'm going to go to regular expression here you will see canadian postal code as an option from now on you will have the canadian postal code as a selection over here